Hey guys, Makeup Side here. And yes, I told y'all, every time these videos come on, I be looking crazy, but no worry. So I just flat iron my hair, lightly flat iron it. I didn't want to put too much heat up on it. Um, and you want to do it on flat iron hair because you want that ponytail to be slick. So keep that in mind. If you're not very heat friendly, then I don't think you should do that. But, um, yeah. So right now I am figuring out whether I want a side part or a middle part. And obviously I chose the middle part. So I am sectioning my hair off into fours, two sides, and then I'll part it again twice in the back or well, once in the back. Um, just so that way it's easier for me to gel everything down. Whereas having thick hair is a hassle trying to gel everything down is and it's not going to be smooth and flat. So keep that in mind just to, you know, stop, save the struggle and just part your hair, sis. Okay, so... <laughs> So, as, you, as I told you, I'm parting it in the back so that way I can make the ponytail where I want it to be and then have the top part um, so that way I know how much I need to slip down in the back, if that makes sense. So, I'm using beeswax. This is actually my first time ever using this. I just bought it so it's a little thick, so I'm just getting it a little warm and then I'm gonna put it on my hair. Um, overall, this product was really good. It wasn't thick and like, you know, like greasy, like most edge controls are. It wasn't like that, like whatsoever. It actually slicked down my hair the best. Like, I swear, I didn't try everything for my hair to slick it down, but honey, this right here is oh, good, okay? So, I am just putting the beeswax on and I'm brushing and combing it at the same time. Um, the reason why I comb it through is because I want it to get through all of my hair strands. Because I don't want to, you know, like part it and put the hair in, part it and put the hair in. Because I'm doing it in the front, so that's enough for me. But the back is a way thicker than the front, so I need to take, you know, precautions and put enough on my hair. So... So going on to the front, I am parting that section into fours, laying down piece by piece, and I'm combing it through so that way it can get laid all the way to the back. You don't want to just gel down the top and then you have a struggle with laying down the rest of your hair. No, you want to go piece by piece, laying it down so it can stretch all the way to the back and it can be laid. And don't even trip about them edges, sis. Trust me, by the end of this video, huh, honey. Those edges are going to be snatched. Stiff wear. <laughs> Stiff wear, huh? <laughs> JK. But yeah, just um, put the gel on and comb it through and brush it. Like I'm just going back and forth with each one. Comb, brush, comb, brush. Combing it through and then brushing it down so it can be laid. And then going on to the last part, I went a little um, OD with this um, beeswax only because I know that's the top half and you that's the part that you see. And I really, really wanted that to be laid and flat as possible. So I used a generous amount of beeswax, but it wasn't so bad because it didn't feel greasy and slimy and stuff like that. It actually felt really, really lightweight. So use as much as you want, but me, honey, <laughs> I need this to last. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, parting it in fours and then laying it down like this, honey. Nice and flat, but it's not flat enough, so we're going to go in with the spritz, the pump it up spritz. This is the super hold, and I'm just spraying it, and I'm not going to brush it through. I'm just going to be using my hand and blow drying it on the cool, cool settings. Um, just so that way it can be secured and flat like it's literally so shiny and then also it holds it really really good um and then blow drying it just secures it so no flyaways 
and now on to these edges like i told y'all i'm telling y'all gorilla snot and this beeswax is like brother and sisters like honey they they click okay i don't think brothers is the click let's let's try best friends okay <laughs> they are best friends honey they click okay and they have my edges laid i had i didn't even put edge control on for two days okay that's how good it laid okay as you can see honey those edges are <laughs> laid and um i kind of i think i spritzed it no, I didn't spritz it. I just gelled it down. I'll spritz it in a minute. <laughs> but, honey, those are laid. Okay, I told y'all. So, I'm using a Gossip B, uh Freeze Blast Spray, and I'm spraying my entire head. And when I say, this is not just for frontals, okay? This stuff is so lightweight, and it had my hair so smooth, so soft, and shiny, just like I like it. And my edges did not move, nor did my hair and it was it was just beautiful <laughs> but i went back and forth with my um freeze spray and my spritz just because i really wanted this ponytail to really last and for it to be secure because i know how my hair is and honey a drop of sweat and it's it's a lion king so we ain't want those problems so <laughs> So you just want to put your scarf on. I had my scarf on for about two hours, I think, while I did my makeup. And um, it laid down, okay? So I'm just going to get ready and do my makeup, and I'll be back. And she cute. <laughs> so I just flat out my, um, well, curled my little pieces that were out, as you guys seen in the last one. So you can do your edges however you like, but that's just me being extra. So now I got the Pineapple Ponytail by Timeless. This is by Ultra. Ultra, yeah. And it's a 1B ponytail. It has a clip in the back, a jawstring, and two clips in the middle. One at the top, one at the bottom, in the inside of the ponytail. Um, yeah, see. And then um, the ponytail. Okay, so I love the curls. I love how the jawstring had it secured. That little clip, they could have kept that, honestly. I mean, I know it's for the top ponytail, but I mean, like, what about people like me that's, you know, that like back ponytails? So, um, I feel like that could have been kept out, but it was trial and error. Obviously, this is my first time ever doing a, a wig ponytail, so I had to flip the ponytail upside down because it wasn't sitting right on my, in the back of my head. It didn't feel secure. So, um, you will see me like taking it off. I had took it off because it, it just didn't feel secure at all. Like I feel like one little hair tilt and it's a twerk, honey, <laughs> that wheel was going to be on the floor. <laughs> it's going to be a disaster. So I flipped it upside down and, um, the, the little clip was in the back hanging, but you couldn't see it cause I had Barbie pinned it down. So Barbie pins are your best friends when it comes to this ponytail. And yeah, I just uh, uh like fingered the curls out just to make it look more natural and do it how you want it. You know, if you like those curls like that, then keep it. But honey, I we not a granny over here, so I, I combed them out. And this is how it looked, cute, honey. Yes, and it was secure. I ain't really want to you know shake too much, just in case it, it did fall off on camera. But <laughs> thank you guys so so much for um, watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoy. Always. Please subscribe to this um, to my channel <laughs> and comment on this video. And hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.